Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Let me introduce y'all to J.R. Willis and Nikki. They got a channel. The link will be down in the description below. But I brought them on a grunt fishing adventure. And uh, we don't know what's going to happen no today. Trailing. We loaded up, come to the swamp, see if we can catch some bowfin, may catch some crappie, may catch some chain pickerel. You never know. You never know. <laughs> anyway, stick around and let's see what happens. All right, y'all, we have done caught us a fish, and look at him, what we've caught right here on a jig. I don't know how I'm gonna get him, but we done caught another jack, a chain pickerel. Now, Alan Sibley, I know you've been on a mission down here for one. I'm fixing to put this one in the cooler and bring him to you. <laughs> you want me to get the net? I got it. Yeah, that's what it is, all right. There he is, Chain pickerel. Him. Caught him on a jig. Got that old duck bill looking thing. They got some teeth on them too, don't they? Yeah, they they got sharp teeth in there. They about like a northern pike looking thing. They look a lot like a pike. Yeah, you can see they some sharp teeth up yeah, there. Yeah, they'll get a hold of you. You don't want to lip that thing, as they say. Let, let Nicky come get a look at it. Yeah, you don't see a lot of them. I caught, like I said, one over at Burnside one time. Oh, that's cool. And they good eating. My grandpa loved They them. are good. They My grandpa oh, loved to eat them things. Got kind of bony. A lot of bones in it. But pretty little meat. Little. Yeah. Well, you're going to keep it, ain't you? We're going to put him in a cooler. We're going to take this into Alan Sibley and show it to him <laughs> anyway. He's down here somewhere. Well, you said he wanted one. That's the first thing you caught. <laughs> ain't that something? Well, he lost him, y'all. I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> JR has just Man. let a grunt get away from him. That joker was at least, you seen him. <sighs> we were sitting here solving world problems instead of filming when he grabbed his pole and run off. We we ain't even got the tripod out there. We just sat down over here at a different spot fishing. <laughs> and next thing we know, he's hollering, I got a fish. Man, it was a good one, too. <laughs> Yeah, I was reeling. <laughs> no, I mean when it took off with it. No, it was just laying there. What he didn't do was get the hook set good. Man, he didn't let it run with it. When he felt it, he got excited and jerked the pole. I probably did. I seen its tail. I seen more than its tail. You seen it? <laughs> he had a decent wood hook. We'll get him again in a minute. I don't think he felt no hook. Five pounder at least. He sure it sure come right out of his mouth. And I thought I'd let him run long enough. I let it run a little while, you know. I didn't do it like you would a bass. They in here though, they in this hole. Oh, with, these rocks is hard on no sport bare feet. Yeah, you ought to be about got used to it now. I'm working on it. <laughs> it ain't from lack of effort. Yeah. All right, y'all, here's what we do. You throw that out there anywhere, let it set a second. And then I, I ease that bait to me, and I hold it. And then if I feel a bite, like if I'm pulling it, it'd be ideal if I wanted to hit it right now where I can show you. <laughs> but if I feel that bite, then I dip my pole down and I watch that line, and I wait for that string of line to just about straighten, slam out, and then I set the hook. So I'm gonna try it next time. It, it's because the way they do is they grab the tail end of that bait and they start swimming off with it. But when you're sitting it, he'll bite down on it with his teeth and hold on to it. And you'll think, man, I got him. Uh -huh. And then he'll just let go after he realizes it keeps pulling away from him. It ain't just, you know, a live bait trying to get away. But if you wait till he's swimming off, he'll inhale it then. And then when you set the hook, you got it hooked in the jaw. Yeah. It took me a long time to learn that. He's swimming right there. I see him swimming. Hey, look, 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 look. Mm. Hey, y'all. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on. Where'd that bait go? It's right up here somewhere. Well, I seen it come right by you. I didn't I, want to hook you I when I went here got a hold of it. <laughs> I like the gut JR with it. Sure it's wrapped wouldn't. around that log right there. They just ain't swallowing it good today, but they biting it. Boy, oh, boy, boy, I just knew I had him. They was another, and the one I was looking at ain't the one I hooked. They all up The one there. I saw was swimming that way, and I was looking at him when I realized my bait was moving. 
because they all up in this spot. Wallering around. I don't know if they're going to like this old pink thing I'm trying to do. Oh, I'd try something a little different on them. They might. That joke that time. You better not come off. There he is. You better not come off, you son of a gun. You got him on the bank? Yeah, I got it. in there that time, buddy. <laughs> All the way up to his eyeball. Now I'm gonna try not to drop this joke. Yeah, old JR done got him a good one. I was up there tying another hook on. Damn, stick this in his mouth. Yeah, you got them pliers. Yeah. Oh, them just little cypress knees is sharp. That's a good one, JR. Yeah, it is. We can eat that, can't we? Good God, he ain't gonna open my mouth. Right, don't stick your finger in there. No, he ain't. Hey. Oh, 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 he'll still get away. I know. <laughs> I know. That's right. He's going to open that mile one way or another now. If I have to get the pocket knife out and shove it in there. You got him now. Yeah, he's got now. Now, that's a good one. I'd say. He probably weighs four or five pounds at least. It's in there. Well, I might get it. I get my finger up in there. <laughs> now, let me get that joke on this there gone camera. Look there, boys. He we got right. one of them out of there. He didn't spit it out that time. <laughs> Let's wash him off. Yeah. I got him clamped to the nose. Hey, man. I like him plier things. Yeah, just, going. Ooh, ooh. You all right? Oh, look, them little sharp. Yeah, don't watch Man. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one there. I'd say that'll be four or five pounder, I guarantee you. Davis, hey, you sent me these grabber things. He ordered them from Timu. Well, they worth it. Yeah. Especially for them grandma. Let's go weigh them. Let's see what it'll weigh. Yeah, them little sharp things is tough on them bare feet sticking up out of that mud. Ooh, you can't see them either. Y'all see that? We finna go weigh this. And JR done got him a good one, y'all. All right, y'all. We have got... Pop this up here now. How'd you do it while ago with it Just stay? Clamped it on the screen. Look, that worked good. Yeah. All right, let's see what he weighs. See what we're looking at. I'm gonna say four and a half, five pounds. He gonna be he gonna be a good five pounds, I'd say. I usually under guess because I usually over guess. If you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Six oh two. Be darn, buddy. That's all right. Y'all see it? That's enough to gnaw on. Jr. had got in a six oh two today. That's the way to do it, there, buddy. You done put us <laughs> on the honey hole this time, buddy. Hey. Oh, look at him, man. He good didn't come down in the good spot, man. Let's get him in the cooler. What would Brody be saying? What he put say? him in the cooler. Put him in the cooler. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's in the airtime. <laughs> Y'all, this is fun now. This is he fun. He thought he was going to get away. All right, I'm going to stick these things in my pocket now. Hey, I got to get some of them. These things y'all did cost me a screen on my phone the other day. The little glass cover that goes over your screen. I stuck this in my pocket, shoved my phone down there with it. And at some point that popped out and busted that screen, which I had. I keep some spare ones at the house. <laughs> Spare screen. Hey, like old Richard Gene, the fishing meat machine, would say, let's catch us another. I'd say, let's do her. <laughs> oh, he thought he was going to get away. He tried, boy. I was over there tying a hook on it. I broke off, so I wouldn't. I didn't get in on that excitement. <laughs> I know, you was right. They were disappointed in me the other day because I caught that fish, and he was way down that steep bank, and I didn't get excited and go to hooping and hollering. <laughs> 
And the reason was, is I was automatically went into problem solving mode. Now, how am I going to get in my fist bank? Now, Brody, you're going to have to hold it while I go. I didn't have time to get excited. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 uh, that's a small price to pray for a Grenelo. I hear that. Yeah, yeah, I thought you'd done hurt your foot there for a minute. Yeah, mama over here now, she'll keep us straight. I mean, she ain't gonna let us get too carried away. I get excited when Grenelos start flopping. Hey, that, they good eating size there, buddy. We won't take but a couple of them. That's enough for everybody. Uh -uh. Was that... I thought she was reading more than him. Man, they going crazy. You talk about the spot. Yeah, this is a honey hole. Uh-oh, here we go, y'all. Let it run, go. let it run. All right, y'all, boom, got baby. Him right there. Woo, here we go. <laughs> got him. Got him. Come on, the daddy boys. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, yeah, he's he ain't coming off. Look at that. He ain't as good as yours, J.R. Get that man if you need it. I'll fix it, see if I can grab him with ours. Don't, don't oh, I nailed him. I got him now. He ain't that big. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> That's a good enough. Hey, good it's all one. like a chicken bone now. <laughs> Woo! What Brody say? Let's eat him raw! <laughs> That's what he said, right? <laughs> Yeah, they in here. You'll bust your butt in this mud if you ain't careful. Yeah, don't fall on the Or face. Y'all reckon what the odds are that we can get old Alan Sibley to come eat with us tonight? I guarantee he probably, well, he might not like Grimlo. Hey! <laughs> hey! He's still trying to get back in here, ain't he? <laughs> that joker ain't giving up, is he? He got out. Hey, everything back here is wet now. Oh, Shoes. well. <laughs> It'll be all right. It needed good washing, I imagine. JR's dinosaur got out of the coon. Yeah. Hey, in him, buddy. Yeah, we ought to get old Alan and come over here and eat some of them. Be easy. Ah. That mud sucks around your feet. You can't hardly move. I'm trying to get on these cypress things and stink. I don't see how he stands it with no shoes. <laughs> hey, look at me. <laughs> I'm covered with water. They went to fight like two dogs in there. <laughs> that joke jump clean out of it. Yeah. <laughs> they something else for them. They put up a good fight, them grillers. Hey, if we don't catch another, I done had a good time. Me too. That's the first grill I've caught in 20 years, man. I guarantee. You. All right, well, Nikki, you're going to have to get over here where the fish are. Yeah, you're going to have to reel them in. I was trying to get my line out there for them. Hey, boy, you said, eat them raw. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you just let him eat him raw. <laughs> cool, so I don't know if I want to eat him raw. Some Grenel sushi. <laughs> it might be good. Hey, I don't know. Put the right, put enough Tabasco on there, it'd probably be all you right. You put Tony Satchery's on anything and make it good. I just emptied a can out of that chicken stew though. I bought a brand new can a while ago when I was at the grocery store. I wanted to have a fresh jug of cooking oil. <laughs> hey y'all, we done slipped up down here on another legend down here. Got a stringer full of fish. This is old Alan Sibley of the Magnolia Ramblers. Howdy. Bluegrass picking city, y'all. We down here in the middle of it. Oh, he done gave us a couple of grunts. We done put them in our cooler, so we fixing to have a show enough grunt cooking here in a little while. But we finna see if we can catch another one or two. But I have caught some big bass down here. I usually wind up putting them back because the time I get two grunts, that's more than I can eat. Well, I don't know how to cook that grunt, but I know how to cook that bass. <laughs> the secret to that grunt is keeping him alive, but you ready to cook him. There's one right there. Well, that JR it doesn't, doesn't miss one down there. He jumped clean out of the water. 
hook. You show that with the flying fish. It looked like <laughs> Hey, one rolling way on down yonder by Nikki. Yeah, lay in there. That missed Our problem is we get to hooping and hollering and carrying on. I get excited when I catch these. <laughs> I just missed one, though. He hit it that time. Uh, yeah. Hang on, y'all. Cut, cut. Hey, look, look at this. Look at him walking around with a stringer full of fish. <laughs> <laughs> he done put it on. I catch no fish. Come back. Been a long time. Time. No, I don't All right, JR done done. Uh, he's on to something now. We got to get down here where we keep the camera on him now. He's going to fool around and catch oh, one. Got that line on that. You know, a while ago, I, I set the hook on one, and it was so weird. The line was cut before I even put any pressure on. Yeah. Darn. When I pulled it, it was just slack line. If they get so them teeth just right, uh, I got you will never hardly tell a thing. It'll just cut it. Shoot. I got some leaders up there, but. He he might put one on the best there. thing you can do is let him run with it for a little while. Get and it then when he's headed the other way, when you set that hook, it'll pull it in a way that it it hooks right. But it's still it's a hit and miss thing. You well, they stay right there. That's for sure. What did you do? Lose your bait? It cut the line. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a parasite. That's why we were talking about that thing. I missed that part of the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, he he ain't gonna bite again. Then he's got a hook in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I caught a bass down here the other day that had eaten the tail end off one of my worms already. Really? Yeah, I caught him. I put him in the cooler up there. And he flopped around, spit the other half of that worm out. And, and then uh, I remembered that just right before I caught him, I had something got the tail end of one of my worms. That's funny. If they don't feel that hook or feel the rod, I think they'll hit again. I don't know about, I don't know about the hook. Y'all, I just got to document what I am leading them into. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm crawling up the edge of this bank down here to try to get to a, a hole that we ain't fished in and ain't been up right beside a hooping and a hollering and run all the fish off already. <laughs> Hey, there's a tarred bank line right here. I'm sure it's got a hook on it somewhere. All right, y'all. I, I got to keep y'all right close to me because this is close quarters. This is a good hole. Whoa, now what happened there? What done happened there? That's why I caught fish Well, sir. <clears throat> mm, I bet I broke it. I don't know. I feel. No, it broke. Ah. I got one. Oh, it jumped off. Y'all going it. We thought we was going to have Nikki hooked I up, y'all. I wasn't even expecting that. I was pulling the backlash <laughs> out of my line, and I went to tighten up my line, and it was on there. He done run off with a bait, and she wasn't even ready. When you just leave it laying there a while, it was red. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one.
We, we'll I mean, get her like, on right, one in a minute. I didn't even have it casted out very far. It's right here, right off the bank. I'm finna do you like I did Brody. I'm gonna get one hooked and hand you the pole. <laughs> <laughs> he said, eat him raw. Yeah, Brody, Brody, all right, eat him raw. <laughs> <laughs> Old Lemwood Viable gave me this reel. Yeah. Two of them. He mailed them to me. I made him a knife and he traded me two of these reels. <laughs> There's a hole down the. Oh, should I put it back up? Where the water's real shallow and it's running. It runs into a hole kind of like this. This fish lay there. That fast water hits the steel. I'm gonna use up there. See what I can find. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do, but now I do know this. We're gonna go to the house and have a grunt cooking here in a little bit. <laughs> You're welcome to come eat with us if you want to. I, I might take you up on that. We probably gonna sit on the porch and carry on and talk tell tales and pick no telling what. What time is it getting to be at home? Probably five or so. I don't. Y'all, Alan done walked up here toting another grunt. We didn't get him on film, but y'all, we got a cooler. Let me bring it over here. We we done got a cooler full of grunt now. I I hadn't filmed catching any. I know you liable to think I'm lying to you, but I didn't catch them. <laughs> Look in here. And hey, they'll they'll slam get out of there. And that look, there's my bait right there I lost earlier. There it is. He done spit it out. He puked it up, didn't he? But y'all, we got two in there that is almost eight pounds. A couple of small ones, and I I can't hold the camera and show what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll look hold it that. for you, and you can look at look at how big that is. And then there's we got about five in there. There's another good one. Look at that. Pretty good size there. We'll get, yeah, see, there's two good ones. So we got a cooler full of fish. She gonna pour some more water in there. We about better go clean them jokers, hadn't we? About gonna have to. You don't need one more? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been getting them on set. That old That's purple, wearing purple worm, on. ain't it? Red shell. And he got two baths. Yeah, he's got a couple bass down there. All right. There's that thing. And then we'll catch one more. <laughs> we need to go film him catching it, I reckon. The only problem is, is I run all the fish off because I get to hooping and hollering and excited and carrying on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sure to lose it if they pretty straight away. Yeah. That's pretty fancy one. Well, it? it's not really. It just got an exposed to it. I figure that's a recipe for Well, we may order head on and cook it. We're gonna cook it. Yeah, Paula. I was just wondering because my mom, she's gonna get all worried. I don't know what. I'm just about half mine to go get one and bring her back. That's the tape me trying to get one. Yeah, that's the tape me. Probably 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do that. Well, you don't have to do that. Well, y'all, we didn't conclude this video on on the scene, but thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. At this point, we go and cook, and you can see what happens from here on on the live episode that night. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. We fixing to go cook fish.